Hello, welcome to Scratch Theory Printing. In this video, I'm going to show you how to rule the K1 mask with the CFS upgrade kit. Let's scratch to this topic. There are many people out there that does not know what root is for the K1 mask, and some people have a question that if you have the CFS kit upgrade for the K1 mask or the K1 series, can you still root the 3D printer? And how does it affect it? Does it work? And stuff like that. And let me tell you, it works like normal. It just works like normal. In my opinion, it actually makes the 3D printer a little bit better. It's just that you open up the 3D printer so you have more freedom for using your K1 series from Creality. And also by rooting your K1 series, you get access to Fluid or Mainsail, depending on which one you want to use. And it allows you to use Clipper by rooting your K1 series. It allows you to use Orca Slicer, sending the print directly to your 3D printer without any USB drive. But enough talking, I'm going to show you how to do it. If you have not done this yet, what you need to do is come to your 3D printer, go to setting, scroll down a little bit, and right here, root account information, click it, and then it will give you this warning, I have read this, and then in 30 seconds, it will allow you to click OK. OK, it has been 30 seconds. I'm going to click OK. And here, it gives you the account name and the password, which is right there. So you are going to need this in order to root your 3D printer. At this point, you can click OK. But if you need to remember, take a picture of it. By doing that, you allow your 3D printer to be rooted. So once you have done that, you're going to need to connect your 3D printer to your Wi-Fi, get the IP address, and now we're gonna jump to the computer and do it from there. I am in GitHub, and this is the wiki for rooting your K1 series 3D printer. This was created by um, GUI Laos, so um, it's on GitHub. You go here, you click this link right here, and it will take you to the wiki for this. So on the left side here, there's like many, many tabs to go through, and many instructions telling you exactly what to do. So what we want to do is go right here, helper script for Creality. Um, we're going to click install helper script right here and then go ahead and read all of this it will tell you exactly how to do it and right here if you have messed around with your 3d printer or something like that make sure that you factory reset everything for your 3d printer so that it does not cause any error like they say here okay we're going to scroll down a little bit to the installation right here so it says right here if you have moonraker fluid or mainsail installed by creality uninstall them and then install this so that you get all the benefits from this First, you will need to connect your 3D printer to SSH, and there's a guide right here, so we will just click this. Once we get to this page, right, we already enable root access. So next thing is to download this software, Mobile Exterm. You can just click right here, and then it will automatically download for you. So once you have that download, open up, and you should see something like this. So I'm going to open up my right now. Okay, so this is Mobile Xterm. And look at this. I get all these rooted for my 3D printer. And the reason why I have so many is that because every single time my Wi-Fi dies out and I have to turn on again, your 3D printer IP address changes. What we want to do here is click Session, then SSH. Remote host is your 3D printer's IP address. So go on to your 3D printer right now. Click on setting, click on network, and you should see your 3D printer's IP address. So once you have that in, click specify its username and, and put in root. So this is the information that we got earlier. Once you have all of this, click OK. And here you can click accept, cancel, or whatever you want to do. I'm just going to click accept. So now it tells you to put in the password, which we saw earlier was creality underscore 2023. Once you type that in, it's not going to show here for security purpose, but I type it in. When you type it in, it's not going to show. Just make sure you write it correctly. Once you input that, click enter. Do you want to save the password? And let's just go ahead and save it. Once you have all of that, you should see this page right here. In the wiki, it shows something like this. But for me, it shows me like this, which is, you know, pretty similar to what they show here, but it's pretty much the same thing. So once we get to this point, we will want to go back to the wiki, go back here, the install helper script. And then once you've done this, we're going to go to the next instruction here. So what we want to do here is just copy this whole thing, or you can click this copy button right here, click it, copy it, go back here and then just paste it. So it's not going to be control V anymore. You're going to right click paste and as you can see here is shift plus insert so we're gonna do that once we've done that click enter okay as you can see right here nothing happens right so what this line of code is is that it's supposed to clone or copy everything from this github url right here 
to the user data helper script but i already did that twice and nothing happened if you watch my previous video on how to root the k1 series i root it for my k max after you type in this line it's supposed to download it's supposed to copy everything it's supposed to have something happen here right but nothing happens so even if we go and copy this we paste it we click enter nothing because there's no file or directly call helper script here so if we go to the left here in this green folder we double click this and we're going to go back to the main page so this is the main page of all the files that it is in my ko max which in this case it's going to be all the files in your 3d printer and if we follow this user data helper script right we're going to go down here user double click data double click and if we look here, there's no folder called helper script. It did not work. My K1 Max is the version 2.3.5.33. So I don't know why it's not working, but don't worry. I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. We're going to do this manually. It's not going to be auto and stuff like that. So pay really close attention to this part right here because it's very important that you get this correct in order to get this helper script into your K1 3 printer. So there are two GitHub pages that GUI allows created. One is the Creality Helper Script Wiki. This is just the wiki, so we don't want anything to do with this. What you want to do is go to this page right here. It is still from GUI Laos, but this is just the Creality Helper script, which contains all the files, all the folders that we needed in order to root the K1 Max. I will leave this link in the description down below, so you can just go right to it. Essentially, what you want to do is copy all of this into your 3D printer, but I will show you how to do that. So we go to this code green button right here, click it. And you want to download the zip file for the so go ahead and click download right here so once you have done that just create a new folder in your file and go ahead paste it in there so once you have that download it's going to be in a zip folder so just create a new folder in your file and right click this and unzip it once you unzip it another folder is going to pop up and as you can see here there's no zip so this is the folder that we want so we're going to go ahead and click inside of this folder and as you can see here, we get all of this from right here. The dot GitHub, the file, the script, everything right here. We got it right here. So once you have this download and unzip it, you get all this file. Now you want to go back to the mobile X term right here. And what we're going to do is, since we are already in the user data folder, we're going to create a new folder called helper script make sure it's called helper script if it's not called helper script it's not gonna work so how do we do that we're gonna go up to this folder with the plus right here click this it will create a new directory please enter the new directory name so you want it to be helper dash script exactly like it is over here no capitalized nothing exactly like this click ok so now we have this folder right here. What you want to do next is double click this folder. So once we double click this folder, we are inside the folder. And as you can see here, it's empty. The only thing you're going to see is this green folder with the arrow, which means just go back. So this is empty. Now that we have all this set up, we're going to go back to our file explorer right here and into the folder where you unzip all of this. So what you want to do is highlight all of this, basically copy it and move it over here to the new folder that we just created. So copy all of that, move it over here, or we can just highlight everything, drag it over here. And as you can see at the bottom right here, it's downloading everything. So back then when you have this line right here, once you enter it, it should download everything like this right here. So it should be doing this, but for whatever reason, maybe Creality blocked this, or I don't know the reason why it's not working. It's not doing anything. It's just going to the next line, but it's supposed to do this. It's supposed to download everything and create a folder called helper script for you and have everything inside here for you. Just like that. We now have all of this in here, which is amazing. So now we can go back to the install helper script right here, and we can copy this line right here, copy it. And now we can go back and paste it. The reason why helper script folder name is very important is right here. User data helper script right here. So once we have all of that, we're going to copy that and then paste it here. Click enter. And there you go. You should be able to get inside of your 3D printer right now. What this is, is just all of these files transfer over here. 
So earlier we did not have this helper script folder and we did not get all this file. And if we look at this file right here, right? The boot, the buzz of the camera, everything, the fix, the git, the guppy screen, everything is right here. So all of this is just over here. And now we can go ahead and, you know, install, remove anything that we want. So before I install anything, I'm going to click six for information just to see what kind of things we have. And as you can see right here, Moonraker, Fluid, Mainsail, none of that is installed. Not even Camp is installed, nothing. Except the Creality Web Interface, if you connect it to Creality Cloud. So we're going to type B, Enter, which means back. We're going to go to 1, Install. So this is what I'm going to install. You can install whatever you want, but this is just me. I just want to install these things. So first thing I'm going to install is Fluid. I don't really like mainsail i like fluid so that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna install fluid and the port number is 4408 this is important pay attention to this number which i will tell you later and we're gonna use this port number right here so we're gonna go ahead and install fluid so that is number two and oh look at that we have an error moonraker and whatever this is are needed so that is number one we need to install this first so let's go back down here pick one enter do you want to install it? Y for yes. And look at that. It will do everything, which is amazing. We don't have to copy. We don't have to find this information and then copy paste again. This is what it's supposed to do when it's supposed to clone GitHub to the 3D printer. But it did not work. We need to do it manually. So once that is installed, I'm going to go ahead and install Fluid, which is number two. And look at that. No error. Yes. Boom. Look at that. I'm going to click B, go back. Go to six information and look at that moonraker fluid is installed so just go ahead and install whatever you want the clipper adaptive meshing and purging is called camp for short that is going to allow you to mess around with your 3d printer have all the camp setting smart bed leveling smart stuff like that and yeah go ahead and install anything that you want to do uh, i'm not going to install much because i don't really want to mess around with it anymore since i did that in the past and it did not work well for me and it, it takes a lot of time to get all of this you know well sorted out and really good for your 3d printer once you have everything sorted out it's going to be really good for your 3d printer trust me i've done it before and once you're done just press q and exit so now i'm going to go into workout slicer and i have my k1 max 3d printer selected i'm going to select this wi-fi right here it's called the connection so once you select that this window is going to pop up and octo and clipper is what you want so the hosting ip address is just your 3d printer's ip address right here click enter so that the test button pops up and then we're going to click test and oh no it's not like connecting it's not working many of you are going to get this error it's like it's not working because you need to do your 3d printer and you need to install fluid or main cell so remember that port number right we're going to shift colon so that we have these two dot now put in the port number 4408 for fluid. If you install mainsail, it's 4409. So once we do that, click enter again, click test, and look at that. Connection to Octoprint is working correctly. So there you go. You have now rooted your 3D printer, connected to Orca slicers, and you can remote print. So if we click device up here, look at that we have access to fluid we can see our 3d printer we can see the tools the ready print the thermal the heat and stuff like that all the macros right here you can download more macro and yeah, look at that and this is our g code preview stuff like that but maybe you restart everything and you don't have the camera we're gonna go all the way to uh, setting right here on the left hand side we're gonna click camera and then we're just gonna add a camera we're just gonna call it camera click ok then if we go back home, we will have our camera right here, which I spelled wrong. <laughs> but th there we go. We have a camera. I'm going to put my hand in there. Hey, look at that. It's working. There we go. That's how you do it for the K1 Max. And I believe it's really similar for all the 3D printers, the K1 series and stuff like that. Are you working on a project and don't have the power to power that project? Well, here I am, Scratch 3D battery. It ranges from 1S, 2S, 3S, and all the way to 4S. 
battery pack 18650 high quality pack from scratch 3d battery if your project requires all types of battery i got you covered all types of connection i got you covered all the way from xt60 to jstxh 2.54 millimeter jstxm dean connectors all types of connector balance charger anything you need scratch 3d battery have it link will be in the description down below on my ebay store there you go congratulations you have rooted your k1 series 3d printer from creality the process isn't that hard once you do it a couple of times but doing it first time it is quite challenging and throughout the years it has become easier and easier it's a lot more clearer but for whatever reason it did not work like it was intentionally made so you gotta improvise a little bit just doing manually just rewatch the video if you're stuck or need some more help you can do so much more than what i just show you by rooting your 3d printer you can change other g code files you can customize g code macro you can do that you can upgrade your screen to the guppy screen which i did for a while but then i reverted back just the simplicity of it if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful leave a like on this video if you still have any question about ruining your 3d printer or you are stuck at a step or something just go wrong leave in the comments down below i'll try my best to help you if you haven't yet become a member of the youtube channel it helps me tremendously it helps me tremendously thank you so much for watching and as always keep on 3d printing